The man at the center of a standoff in the Sandalwood area last Friday is now charged with murdering his own wife. Tonight, 45 year old Gerard Stewart is in jail after police say he stabbed his wife Julie to death, hid her in the trunk of their car and then tried to kill himself. He was Baker acted Friday and officially in police custody this morning for his first court appearance. First Coast News reporter Crystal Bailey is live tonight outside of the jail. Crystal. Well, that's right, Julie Stewart filed for divorce in April and just before, just days before her death, she actually filed the most recent of that paperwork. The couple was married for about 20 years. They had a nine-year-old son. That son now left without a mother and a father facing charges of tampering with evidence and of course murder. I was going to play with him at three and that's like when it happened. Cops swarming Cavalry Boulevard, where the standoff lasted hours on Friday. Like, I've never heard the parents, like, argue or fight. Like, they seem like a really healthy family. Most neighbors saying something along those lines, surprised to hear Gerard Stewart confessed to murdering his wife. Cleon Farrow, a friend of their nine-year-old son, says he's been passing by the house to see if he can find him. I wanted to talk to him and see, like, what if he's okay and, like, if he's going to go to my school next year. Neighbors say Julie Stewart was a generous woman. She would take me, like, places, like Adventure Landing and stuff. And Gerard Stewart is in jail with no bond. His next court appearance is July 11th, reporting live from JSO. Crystal Bailey, First Coast News, on your side. Such a sad story, Crystal. Thank you. And there's no evidence of previous domestic violence in this case. But I want to remind you, I want to take a moment to remind you that if you feel you're in a dangerous relationship, help is available. You can contact the Hubbard House. The number's right there at the bottom of your screen. We also have that number for you in this story. Just head to firstcoastnews.com.